Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's 5th grade, Module 19, Lesson 1. I'm going to start off by going over the I can objective. It says, I can identify and describe a point in a coordinate system. The learning objective is to identify and describe a point in a coordinate system. And the prior learning is that students drew points, lines, line segments, rays, angles, and perpendicular and parallel lines. Students identified perpendicular and parallel lines in two-dimensional figures. All right, so moving into the lesson, we're on page 473. We have a spark your learning. So it says, Anne lives three blocks east and five blocks north of the elementary school. Ben lives six blocks east and three blocks north of the elementary school. So what directions should Anne and Ben use to walk to each other's home? All right, so notice that we have the little directional compass in the upper right-hand corner of our square here. We have that little north, east, south, and west. That's super helpful. So it doesn't tell us exactly where the elementary school is on our a grid. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick it in the corner for easy counting. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to draw a little point and say, that is my elementary school. And I'm just going to label it ES. Okay, now let's start. It says, Anne, she lives three blocks east and east is going to the right. So I'm gonna count three little squares, individual squares over to the right showing three east. So one, two, three, I would land right there. But it says three blocks east and then five blocks north, and north is going up. So from my dot that I just um, marked my spot, now I'm going to count five squares up, and then I'm going to mark my spot. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to be right there, and that is going to be and. So I'm just going to mark it with an A. All right, now it says that Ben, he lives six blocks east and three blocks north from the elementary school. So not from Anne's, but back from the elementary school. So we're kind of starting over at our original point. And now we're doing Ben. So Ben lives six blocks east. So still going the same way east. We're still going to the right, but now we're going six jumps. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's my new spot with Ben. From that spot, it said six blocks east and then three blocks north. So now I'm only going three up from that spot. So one, two, three. Okay, so this spot right here is going to be Ben, and I'm going to mark it B. All right, so now it says what directions should Anne and Ben use to walk to each other's homes, not from school, but from Anne's house to Ben's house, and then what should Ben use from his house to Anne's house? So I'm going to mark this in the directions that they might take for each other. So um, Anne, I'm going to change her to red. So she's going to go one, two, three. This um, east, so she's going to go three east or three to the right. Then she's going to go down one, two until she gets to Ben. And down, remember, is south. So then two south. And that's for Anne. Then for Ben, I'll change him to blue. He could go the opposite. He could go two north and three west, right? You could just make it the opposite. Um, but I, since I already did the right, I'm just going to show you what it would be in blue. So I'm going to go one, two, three. So I did um, west first. Going the other side, same thing, but just going west first. So three west. And then I have to go up to Anne's house. So one, two. And again, up is north. So then I did two north, and that was four. Ben's directions. All right, so we're just getting used to different points, the directions between them. Each square is worth in one. In this um, case, we have directions with the north, east, south, and west. All right, so let's go ahead and flip the page. We're on page of 474. And because this is the very first lesson in the module, I'm going to do this whole page with you, and I'm not going to have any independent practice, but I will for the rest of the lessons in this module. 
Okay, so we are going to do this entire um, page together. So number one, it says a coordinate system is a plane formed by two perpendicular number lines that intersect. Whoa, that was a bunch of really big new words. Okay, so a coordinate system is what you see below with the number line going this way and the number line going this way with the blue grid. Okay, that whole thing is called a coordinate system. And you're gonna put something called coordinates. And those are just the dots that we marked. Remember Ben's house is here? That would be called a coordinate. So when you have an entire system together, it's called a coordinate system. All right, and it, it says it's a plane. So a plane is just a flat ground that you can um, mark data on, really. So a plane is just something flat, and then it says a coordinate system is a plane that's formed by two perpendicular number lines. Perpendicular meet like this, right? So it's one is up and down and one is left and right. That's perpendiculars when they meet. And remember parallel, they're next to each other and they never touch. So these are two perpendicular number lines. So it's a number line zero to, in this case, it's six going this way is a number line. And that's the first time we've really seen a number line go up and down, right? And then the next number line is going from zero to 10 this way, which is what we're used to seeing a number line like. And they intersect, all right? So intersect means that they meet together at a point. That's what intersect means. All right, and it says these number lines or axes, all right, or an axis is one of them. So this would be an axis and then this would be an axis, all right? And they meet and intersect at zero. So if you look at the point of where they cross over, right? So it's like one long line and one long line and they just barely intersect at the very corner there at zero. That location is called the origin, right? The beginning, like the original, or if you've ever heard like the origin stories of something, it's the beginning, it's where things start. So the origin is at zero. All right, so um, for A, it says label each axis. So I'm gonna, these are gonna be X and Y. And if you look over to that connect to the vocabulary yellow um, square right there, it gives you a little bit more information is that the X axis is horizontal. And remember horizon, if you look at the beach, horizon, horizontal, and then the other one is just vertical. So vertical, like a vertical jump, right? Vertical is going this way and horizontal or horizon goes this way. All right, so that's the... X axis is horizontal and then Y axis is vertical. When I was growing up learning this, I had a really hard time and my teacher explained it to me as Y has a tail that goes down. So that's the Y axis is with the Y going down, the up and down line is the Y axis. That helped me remember it. So maybe it'll help you too. All right, so now let's label those axes. So remember the up and down line, that is my y axis here and then i have my x axis here so y up and down x left to right then it wants us to circle the origin so that is just the spot that meets right there all right now for b it says a point represents a location in the coordinate system so it just means literally like the little dot that says pool next to it that's just the point or the coordinate this location can be represented using two values. So why are the two values needed to identify the location? So if I said, hey, my point is at three, which axis would you go to? Would you go three up and down or would you go three left to right? Well, I don't know. So that's why you need two different values. I need to know how many left and right I'm going and then how many up and down I'm going and then see where they intersect or where they meet together. All right, so um, the answer key says each value corresponds to a distance along one of the two axes. I think that's kind of complicated. So really how I just took it and simplified it is I said one value and that's supposed to be an A. One value equals left, right. And um, the second value, and that really should say the first, and the second value is giving you the up, down. 
makes sense to me, right? All right, so then C, one value is called the X coordinate. So whichever number is on the X axis, that's gonna be your X coordinate, right? They um, link together. And the second value is called the Y coordinate. So what does each value describe? Again, in the answer key, it says in a coordinate, the X coordinate is the horizontal distance from zero. So from zero, what's the horizontal distance? That's the um, X coordinate. And then the Y coordinate is the vertical distance from zero along the Y axis. So, um, one value is called the X coordinate and the second value is called the Y coordinate. What does each value describe? So I'm just going to say again, the X is that left to right value and our Y is our up and down value. I would never expect a learning fifth grader such as yourself to use that type of language when you're learning something for the very first time. I would expect you to say, I know that the X is going left to right and I know the Y is going up to down and that's perfectly okay. All right, last one on this um, page, D. It says, locate the pool in the coordinate system. So what is its X coordinate? Okay, so now we're jumping up to the top in A in that coordinate system in that plane, and it has a dot that says pool. Now, what is the X coordinate? So look along that X axis, right? What number is it matched up with in the X? So if you look here, if you just were to go, I'm gonna use this in red actually. If I were to go do, 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 down, you see how it's at six? That is my X coordinate, it's at six. Then if I were to go from my y, y axis, if I were to go do, 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 it's over at my three on my Y axis. So then I would put a three here. So your X coordinate is six and your Y coordinate is three and that is where they intersect. All right, go ahead and use this information to finish up the rest of your lesson and I'll see you back for module 19, lesson two.